concluded that uh, there is a sweet spot for acquisitions, and that for us is somewhere in that 200 to 500 million dollar uh, sales number. Somewhere in there seems to be the sweet spot, place where we can really leverage and uh, and bring our capabilities to bear. We're also think, uh, trying to find companies that have got some kind of specialist knowledge, niche knowledge, or proprietary technology that we can take and expand and, uh, and, and leverage. The first thing that all has to do is to get the people in place. And it's not that all the people in a company are necessarily bad, but you have to do an initial screening to make sure you really do have the right leadership team in this company because that is what's really going to make the difference. It really is. Create an environment where people believe in, in, in growth. To my mind, the, the best value creation is always growth. You know, you can cut the costs out of the, the business, which are unnecessary. There may be some synergies that you can drive uh, with a, another business that you have. But fundamentally, the best value creator is to drive for growth. If you don't innovate, if you don't find ways to differentiate, then uh, you're just going to be the same as everybody else. And you are then going to drift at the market average. If the market's growing at 2%, you're likely to grow at 2%. You have to intervene either through customer conversions, geographic expansion, product line expansions, and the best way to do this is through innovation. Innovation is the key to differentiation and the key to growth. It's always that way. Growth programs always come from the core. Growth programs uh, always start small and ultimately become large. So my focus would be on the people, on the core, on innovation, and uh, being interventionist on cost and being interventionist on people. Well, energy and natural resources uh, are, are places which are, are, are growing despite the general economic malaise. There are really only three ways in the world in which to create new wealth. The, the first is manufacturing, the second is agriculture, the third is mining and minerals extraction. And energy, of course, is, is a piece of that. If you can invest in that energy piece, there are sort of uh, interesting adjacencies, interesting intersections that we can use in those spaces. You know why that? Because you know most about the technology, most about the markets, most about the manufacturing, most about the competition, most about the customers. So picking off close adjacencies uh, is a safe way of expanding it because you bring a lot of what you already know from the core into those adjacencies. So it's a very, very logical uh, thing to do. A fundamental large growth marketplace with some uh, intersections and additions and adjacencies that tagged onto that. That's where we think we can create some value.